I'm in a Toyota Yaris GRMN. Next to me is the new Ford Fiesta ST. Next to that is the new Volkswagen Polo GTI. Next to that is a Peugeot 208 GTI. Next to that is a Mini John Cooper Works. Now we're gonna have a drag race, but before we do, make sure you subscribe to this channel. Also check us out on Instagram at carwowcars. Now I should point out that all these cars are manual, apart from the Polo, which is an automatic, and it also has launch control, that the Ford Fiesta also has a form of launch control as well. So we'll see how that affects things. Let's race. is away pretty good as well. This thing is fast off the line. And I've left the pack for dead. That Mini's coming back though. Oh, look, can I beat it? That's it, that's the win. So, just how close was it? Well, the supercharged 1.8 litre Yaris GRMN has 212 horsepower and 249 newton metres of torque. It launches brilliantly and did the standing quarter mile in 14.5 seconds. The Mini JCW has a 2 litre turbo with 231 horsepower and 320 newton metres. It doesn't launch quite as well as the Yaris, but still did the quarter mile in 14.8 seconds. The Fiesta ST has a 1.5 litre three cylinder turbo with 200 horsepower and 290 newton metres, but it bogs down a bit when launched and did the standing quarter mile in 15.1 seconds. The Polo GTI also has a 200 horsepower engine, but it's a two litre turbo with 320 newton metres. It spins its wheels all too easily and did the standing quarter mile in 15.5 seconds. Finally, the 208 GTI has a 1.6 litre turbo with 208 horsepower and 300 newton metres. It also struggles with traction when launched and did the quarter mile in 15.6 seconds. For those of you who thought I may have jumped the start, a frame by frame look at the replay shows the Yaris starts moving just moments after the starter's arms begin to lower. My lightning reactions and the Yaris's rapid responses resulted in the perfect launch. The other cars just couldn't match. Right, and now we're gonna have a rolling race from 30 miles an hour, all the cars are in second gear. The Polo is in manual mode in second gear. I'm gonna count them in, throw the throttles, and see what happens. So this neutralizes any effect from who's good at starting from a standing start and who isn't. So here we go. Three, two, one, go! Oh, this thing does not pick up fast, but so is that Mini. That Mini's gone. It's me against the Polo, and this seems quicker. Whoa! And it's increasing its lead. This thing is brilliant. It's not quite as quick as the Mini. That was interesting. So this car has the least torque, but it's also the lightest, but it just picked up beautifully. The Mini was gone though, most powerful. The Polo beat the Fiesta, whereas it didn't in the drag race. Part of the reason for that is that the Polo with its launch control mode, you have to have the traction control off, so it spins up the wheels. And if you don't have launch mode, then it just bogs down. So it's not great at launching, but it's got plenty of torque. 320 newton meters that Polo's got, but it is heavy. It's 1,350 kilos, it's about the same weight as the Mini. But can't criticize this car, it has done so well. It is fast. In fact, there is no slow car here. The 208 finished fifth in both cases, but is still very quick. The Polo, Fiesta and the Mini are all great little hot hatches with their own unique characters. But for me, the undoubted star of the show was the Yaris. Its punchy engine, relatively lightweight and brilliant away from the line traction blew me away. Oh.